Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to recover your iTunes library. So if it got deleted um, in many different ways, if it was just accidentally deleted or if you had the hard drive crash and it was reformatted or something like that, um, then if, if the, as long as the drive is accessible, whether it's an external drive or an internal drive, as long as the drive isn't you know, completely broken, um, and it is accessible those files may be available for recovery so I'm going to show you how to do that the first thing you're going to want to do is um, use the, you're going to want to download the special software we're going to need to, in order to do that um, the software is what it does is it runs a free scan for you and shows you whether the music files are recoverable or not so what you want to do is go to recovermyfilesnow.com uh, the link is below this video. You can click on that link and it'll take you to this page. And this page um, has the software that we're going to use to actually run the scan and see if the files are available to be recovered. So just click on one of these green buttons here. Um, it'll ask you to download the file and install it. Go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it works. Okay, once you've downloaded the file and installed the software, um, we're going to use that software to recover files. I'm going to show you these two files that I have here. Um, it's not a full iTunes library, but for the sake of example, I just want to use a couple different um, music files. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those files. If you do a shift delete, it deletes the files permanently. So we're going to delete those files. They're not in a recycle bin here. And then we're going to go through the process of recovering those files. Okay, once you launch the software, this is the first screen you're going to see. Um, there's a bunch of different options you can choose here. Uh, you could run, a, if you're looking for one particular file, one particular music file, you could do a search for that. Or an artist, you could type it in this box and do it. Um, I prefer to do it um, a certain way, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I like to click on this Advanced tab and, and go ahead and pick wherever my uh, music library is located because not everybody has it necessarily on their C drive. I know I keep mine on an external drive. So if, it's on, if it was on that drive, you want to search that drive to find out where it is. So in this case, I'm using this, um, this removable drive here um, to, to show you the example of the files that we deleted. So you just go over here. You, you can check these or uncheck these as you want as far as the location, um, as far as you know, whichever drive letter you're looking for here. So in this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select this drive and just press the Start Scan button. And you'll see... Um, it starts recovering files uh, pretty quickly. Um, in this case, we found 14 files. And w the cool thing about it is, is it groups everything together by the, the type of file that it is. So in this case, you can see the first one is documents and then audio video files. And obviously, that's what we're looking for in this, in this situation. So you can expand that out. And there's the two files that we had permanently deleted. And it's as simple as just selecting the files that you want to recover. Um, if you're doing the entire library, you might want to just consider doing uh, just all the audio video files and you can recover those. I'm going to cancel the scan so we can get to the recover point. So if we want to recover these files, it's as simple as selecting what we want. And um, you can set up a, a file recovery location here at the bottom. Um, I have mine set to, to load in onto my desktop here. You see this folder on the right. So you can select the, the folder, the files that you want to recover. You press the recover button and there they are, fully recovered for you to put wherever you want to put them. And keep in mind that, that, again, when you download the software, it is a free scan. And the most important thing is to make sure you do it as quickly as possible because the longer you wait, the more of those files can be overwritten and you're, you're going to start losing your music. But run the free scan, make sure the files are recoverable. And if you decide to recover, you can decide to go ahead and uh, activate the license for the software. I believe it's like $40, which is not much compared to all the other software products that I've um, looked at in the past, but it does a great job and uh, you will get your files back as long as you can see them on the free scan. So good luck and I hope you get all your music files back.